Okay, we're back. Autodesk Inventor LT 2010. Let's uh, put it through its paces. Okay. Limited technology. Let's see if it's limited. Okay, constraints pretty much the same. Yeah, they look the same. Dialog box. Ribbon, the same. Okay, sure thing. Let's um, add a couple of um, dimensions. I think I'm going to build a wheel assembly. Uh, oh, assemblies? Somebody told me they can't do assemblies in LT. Let's take a look and see if that's true. Okay, um, we're going to revolve this. So this is a profile or section of a uh, half section of the wheel. Ah, dimensions, yep, same. We can add units, inches, feet, centimeters, meters, whatever is needed. Yes, you can make dimensions equal. We have the cube, so we can rotate, and let's revolve this. We have aliases, absolutely, set up the same way. Now let's do an outside fillet of 0.1 and the inside fillets of 0.5, and this wheel starts coming to life. And let's take a look at it. Yeah, it looks good. Let's see. Do we have eye properties? Eye properties. Yeah, great. So we can assign a material to it. And once we do that, we have mass and the area and the volume. And we can do some analysis. And I get, yep, we got it. We can now colorize it so that it looks real. Nothing better than working on parts that look like they really are parts. So here's the hard one. Uh, can we create a bushing? If it was straight inventor, I would create a new part and go from there. But here, we've got to create it as a, a second solid body. That's kind of neat. That is what we inherited from Inventor 2010, the ability to create multiple solid bodies within an individual single part so that we now can simulate a second part even though it's not. So yeah, I am simulating an assembly even though it's not an assembly and uh, for this to look more real I'm gonna colorize it so that it stands out so someone can say can't say that that doesn't look real and we'll either mirror it across the center of the uh, wheel or we'll just do it again uh, same thing we did the first time good practice as they always say try it a second time you don't forget it okay so for all intents and purposes this is a wheel with a bushing let's create a couple of drawings DWG IDW same as we can place a base view we can project the view we can create sections of that and then we can create an isometric of the section kind of neat we can also do details and no one can say that doesn't look like a bushing now. It's a separate part. Great. Let's go back to the model, see if we can shell the wheel. It's a hollow wheel. N ah, great. New tools. We can shell a single solid body so that the wheel will shell without the bushing being affected. Okay. Let's see if we can create a bolt. More interesting. Can we? Yes, well, let's create a section through the wheel. It's a cut section. We'll project cut section, so that is the same. This looks great. Okay, let's go ahead and build that um, bolt, okay? Or bushing, or whatever we need to build, okay? Pretty much creating a part sketch within the section. Dimension it. Again, every, everything very, very similar, almost identical. Don't see much of a difference. Okay. Okay, we're going to revolve that um, and finally have a bolt when we're done. Okay. Another solid single body. So we have three solid bodies within this wheel. And if we start filleting it to make it look real, and let's add a thread to the other side. Okay, no one's the wiser. It looks real good. Let's colorize the bolt so that it just stands out. And then let's turn off the work planes and go back to the 2D drawing and see exactly what might have happened here. Ah, great. Everything came across. Looks good. 
and we can fully document it.